Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So to, in today's lecture, we will discuss about water harvesting. Okay. So I am first starting with the watershed management, watershed management emphasis, management mainly emphasis on emphasis scientific soil scientific soil and water conservation and water conservation in order to increase in order to increase the biomass production so the main aim is to develop the main aim is to develop primary resources of land and water to produce to produce secondary resources of plants and animals plants and animals for use in a manner which will not cause which will not cause ecological balance because in the dams we have seen that there were some criticism about large dams but about water harvesting there is no such criticism so water harvesting is an it is an water harvesting it is an age old age old concept in india Okay, so khadins, tents and nadis in Rajasthan. So these are the khadins, tanks and nadis in Rajasthan, Bandharas and Tals in Maharashtra Bundis in Madhya Pradesh in MP and UP Arhars and Pines in Bihar are some of the ancient water harvesting including water conveyance structures still in use today these are some of the techniques are some of the ancient ancient water harvesting including water conveyance including water conveyance structures still in use today so they are still in use in some part of India okay today still in use today 
so water harvesting techniques are highly locale specific and the benefits are also localized okay so means they are uh, for some smaller area so giving people control over their water resources ensures that mismanagement and over exploitation of the resources is reduced or removed okay so now i will draw one diagram so now i am here drawing a diagram of traditional water harvesting structure okay students so let's say this is the ground level and here are some green trees okay so this is the ground so let's say this is this is catchment area this is hadin area and this is hadin bound now and this is saline area and here is water stored so shallow dug well so students in largely level terrain the water harvesting structures are mainly crescent shaped earthen embankments or low straight concrete and rubble check dams built across seasonally flooded gullies so these type of shallow dug wells can be made in these type of areas so when monsoon rain falls this fill ponds behind these structures these type of pond or shallow dug wells are filled only the largest structure hold the water year around okay most dry up six month or less after monsoon their main purpose is not to hold surface water but to recharge the the main purpose is not to hold surface water but to recharge the ground level water but to recharge the ground water beneath but so that the soil always becomes fertile or you can say is reproductive means it can we can produce our crops in the soil okay and the advantages of water stored in the ground are many this water cannot be uh, it doesn't evaporate but spreads out to large wells and provides moisture for vegetation so there are many useful advantages of water harvesting okay so till now students we have discussed about dams in the last lecture and water harvesting in this lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this two dams and water harvesting 
then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning